Hey, what's up everybody? This is the favorite body tech reviewer, JC from the Balance Wings. What I got before you today, an accessory, what I think you're going to need to keep your Xbox Series X cool while you're playing the AAA games for a long period of time. This right here is a G-Story cooling fan for a Series X. I'll leave the link in the description so you can pick it up from Amazon. And this right here is a nice little cooling fan you put on top of your Xbox Series X, as I can show you here. And I believe they have one for the Series S. So if I so if I consider one for the Series X, I'll leave the link in the description as well so you could pick it up. So this one claims to have a claims to have a low noise cooling fan with an LED indicator, as you can see right here, three stage temperature sensing, an automatic and manual mode. Very simple. So let's open the box and I'll show you guys the content inside. Ah, so it comes with a nice little padding to protect it during shipping. Nice little USB cable, not bad, connected, that's for the power. It comes with a little foot, the little feet right here to plug it on top of your Xbox Series X. And I believe this is uh, the temperature sensor right here. All right, very simple. And what else inside the box? We also got a little booklet. Now, in this booklet, it's not much, but one interesting thing about the booklet, it says right here in the instructions, it got it, the fan got three speeds: low, medium, and high, and it corresponds with the, with what with whatever temperature the Xbox is running at. But by default, it's it, by default this is it's set in automatic mode, but you can turn it on to manual. To select the three different um, temperature modes if you want so for the three temperature modes according to this thing right here between temperatures of 95 degrees and 109 degrees fahrenheit which is 35 degrees which is between 35 to 43 degrees celsius a green light is going to kick in and that's going to put the under and, and when it's the green light that means the fan is in low speed mode now once the temperature hits 118 110 to 118 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 44 degrees to 48 degrees Celsius, a blue light should kick in. And once the blue light kick in, that means the fan speed is in medium mode. Now, temperature greater than 108, 119 degrees, which is 49 degrees Celsius, a red light is going to kick in, so the fan is going to be in high speed mode. So for the fan speed, you can select it in manual mode with the different lights, the green, blue, and red. And fan is going to be on. You're going to stay. You're going to stay under. You're going to stay on that um, temperature. Whatever set in manual mode, but in automatic mode, once it hits 95, the fan is going to kick in. And say, for example, you got it. Say, for example, it's running hotter than that. Whatever temperature it is, the color is going to come on to indicate to you what 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 speed is going to be in based on the temperature. So, say for example, I got my trusty gun right here. Let me just scan my um, Xbox Series X. It says 114 degrees, 115 degrees. So, what that telling me, if I should connect it now to my Xbox Series X, the blue light should kick in. The blue light is between 110 to 118 degrees Fahrenheit. So, and, it, and by default, it's in automatic mode. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it bad, connect this bad boy to my Xbox Series X, which I have it on already. I'll put it on like this nice and easy don't press it just slightly slap it on and then you're going to connect the cable in between inside in not in between in the back of the xbox series x boom so it's a 90 degrees huh that's strange it says 90 degrees they said the xbox are 90 degrees so it turned off. So it's a 93, 94. It's climbing up. 95 degrees. And it kicks in. Yeah, I must say, this thing really works. But I don't see it as a fan. I see it more like a ventilation thing. You know, because all the air is coming up through here on the top. So what I get to realize that what it does is sucks up the air, hot air from the Xbox, and then, and then blow it out from the top. That's what I think is what it's basically doing. And like I said, it really works. 
So just put a little paper here, it blows it off. And this is just a medium setting. So I'm gonna put it in a manual mode. I'll put it on high setting and see. Does it blow off? It still blows. <laughs> this thing blows. Hey, no pun. Back in automatic mode, and that's it. It's good. So, like I said, they say it's a cooling fan. I'm thinking when it's a cooling fan, I'm thinking that um, it blows co it blows the air down. But basically, what it does, it just sucks up the air. It's like a big old like a big old vent. It just sucks the air from the bottom and push it up to keep it cool. I could be wrong, but that's how I see it. But other than that, I like it. I think it's a good good investment to keep your system cool, especially if you play games for a very long time. This will keep your Xbox at a cool temperature at all times. Okay, this is JC. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to Balance Wings.